Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this part two of the Mistborn installation, we will configure our Mistborn VPN with the Cloudflare DNS over HTTPS, which is uh, really great uh, for the privacy because all of the DNS requests are encrypted by the HTTPS protocol. And also Cloudflare is the fastest DNS resolver in the world. To configure it, our Mistborn installation, it is pretty simple and easy. Just uh, follow the documentation I uh, prepared. And also you can watch this video for a reference. Uh, next part, uh, we will set up our pie hole of configurations. We will add our custom blacklist. And also I will show you how you can whitelist your domains because these, uh, those uh, block lists are really, uh, really heavy. And sometimes if you want to use like Google Ads or uh, WhatsApp or those kind of things, you will need to manually whitelist those domains as a wildcard. So everything uh, is working for you. And lastly, I will show you how you can uh, deploy your own uh, uh, Vault Warden. It is, uh, it is just a click of a button. It is pretty easy and straightforward. So uh, watch this video. There will be timestamps, how you can do it, and also you can find the step-by-step -step guide that I always prepared for any tutorial. So I hope you enjoy it, and yeah, if you run into any issues, just uh, let me know down in the comment below. So yeah, let's get started to configure our Mistborn installation. So the all commands that I will be using, you can find in the Mistborn installation, documentation, and in order to set up our Cloudflare DNS over HTTPS, you will need to navigate uh, to the configuration, and you can read more about the uh, DNS and the Cloudflare DNS over HTTPS. But basically what you need to do is to copy this command. Now we will need to move you will need to lo log into your terminal, to your server via SSH. So let me switch windows. Termius. Termius and uh, you paste the command, uh, which is nano slash opt slash misborn slash base .yaml. This is the main configuration file that you will need to edit. You press enter and you scroll down when you see DNS script proxy. What you need to do is to remove all of these uh, DNS resolvers and only keep uh, Cloudflare. Like this. If you don't want to use Cloudflare, you can also visit uh, this domain to see all available DNS re resolvers. You can find them uh, like with the malware, with the malware blocking uh, child, uh, child filters and those kind of things. But Cloudflare DNS is taking care of everything. The traffic is encrypted. It is protected from malware and also some abuse websites. So once you have this, you just press Control O to write changes, enter to confirm, and Control X to exit. Once you have this, you just need to reboot your server. So once the server is rebooted, we will test our DNS. So let me pause this recording and I will be back when the server is rebooted. Once your server is rebooted, you can log back in to your server and you can check by typing docker ps if all containers are working. And so to test the Cloudflare DNS, you will need to navigate to the 1.1.1.1 slash help to see that we establish connection with the Cloudflare. As you can see, we have connected to the 1.1.1.1 DNS. And also we are using encrypted DNS over HTTPS. You can refresh the page. 
to double check and uh, you will see that all our traffic is routing through Cloudflare DNS Resolver and everything is encrypted through HTTPS. That means the privacy, nobody can see what you will search on the internet, even Google, nobody, because it is encrypted with HTTPS protocol. You can also find the DNS over TLS. This is a little bit older and it is not uh, good as uh, plain HTTPS. So once uh, we have this, uh, we can move to configure our Pi hole. So to, to configure our Pi hole, you will need to go to your main uh, Missborn domain. So it's going to be HTTP forward slash home.missborn. This is your main dashboard and you will need to go to the uh, where is it? To the firewall, and you click Pi Hole. And to log in to the Pi Hole, you will need to enter the password you set up in the in the first part. So let me log in to my Pi Hole, and as you can see, by default we have only of two hundred thousand uh, domain on that list. Is this pretty good for uh, general uh, blacklist, but uh, we want to add our own. So what we need to do, we need to go to the add lists. And here we will enter the add list uh, URLs. I added those add lists in the configuration and uh, you can learn more about the ad list I ch ch chosen. So first it is OESD blacklist, which stands for origin isolation security domain. It is a bl blacklist created and a well maintained uh, block list of designed for use with DNS ad blockers like uh, PyHole. The main features of this uh, block list is it is it have a, a broad coverage which blocks a wide range of unwanted content, including ads, tracking, malware and phishing domains. Also, it has the minimal false positives because this uh, ad list is usually updated every 24 hours and the uh, maintainer is putting significant efforts to minimize false positives. So, and if we visit oesd.nl, you can learn more about this project. And the second blacklist I recommend, it is a blocklist project. It is uh, also a very good uh, blocklist, which contains uh, ads domains, tracking and telemetry domains, both Microsoft, the Xiaomi, Samsung, and those kind of things, because we don't want those tracking. Also, it has uh, various uh, malware domains, uh, phishing domains, uh, crypto mining, I need to change it. A piracy and also some social media and uh, gaming blocking, which for productivity and uh, parental control, you don't want this. If you want some domains to be whitelisted, let's watch and I will show you. So first we will add our first OESD, OESD uh, blacklist. You copy this URL, you add it here. And you can name it OESD Big. You click Add. And the same goes for the block list project. You copy this URL. You add it here. And you can name it block list project all because it contains everything. And you click Add. Once you add your desired blacklist, you can find more when you search the Pyro blacklist on Google. And uh, once you add those, you will need to update your uh, gravity list. You can uh, click this link. And here you will click the button update. And as you can see, it is receiving all the domains. And it will add 
those domains into the filters. So let's just wait a couple of seconds. And as you can see, we added more than 2 million unique domains. And now when you can see in your dashboard, you have 2,479,656 blacklist domains. To test the blacklist, what we can do, we can navigate uh, to the ads.google.com. And as you can see, it is blocked. And you can also see the, the block domains in the query log. And as you can see, s.google.com was blocked by the gravity filter, which is our blacklist. <clears throat> to add uh, domains to the whitelist, what you need to do, you need to go to the add lists. And here you specify the domain that you want to add to the whitelist. Uh, sorry, we need to go to the domains and you type google.com to add this domain as wildcard. So all the subdomains from Google are whitelisted. You can uh, name comment uh, Google whitelist and you add it to the whitelist. And now we should be able to visit our domain. And as you can see, ads.google.com and all subdomains from Google are on the whitelist. Same goes if you want to use uh, WhatsApp, whatsapp.net. By default, it is blocked, but when you add whatsapp.net, Also, we add a domain as wildcard, you add it to whitelist. When we refresh the page, we will need to add also whatsapp.com. You don't need to put the www because we add it as a wildcard, add to whitelist. And here you can have your WhatsApp. The same goes for any other domains that you want to have a whitelisted. You just need to add the root domain, add the domain as wildcard, and everything will be in your whitelist. Also, a nice feature of the Pi Hall is that you can see like the live traffic. So when you go to the tools and you can tail the Pi Hall that lock. And uh, I will show you some uh, ad blocking tests. Let me pause this for a second. So we will perform our ad list test. We refresh the page and you can see that all the domains are blocked. As you can see, we blocked all of those uh, pesky privacy privacy domain that like to collect all the data like uh, Pinterest, uh, TikTok, Reddit, YouTube, Hojar, Analytics, DoubleClick and those things. So it is uh, really, really uh, powerful. So let me close this window. And if you want to block everything like from Amazon and those things, you can also just copy these domains and you can add those in your in your blacklist, in your pie hole. <clears throat> but by default, it is pretty, pretty good blacklist because it is blocking most of the domains, but the domains you would like to use for your websites or the analytics, uh, those can be, those are uh, whitelisted out of the box. So next part, we can set up our own uh, password manager within the Mistborn. So we go again, HTTP, home.mistborn. And I think when you go to manage extra services, you can install 
applications that you want like a home assistant you can have your own tor web browser on your server you can also install a conference a meet jit of jitsi meet only office and those things so the choice is yours depending on your server specs you can install whatever you want but in this tutorial we will install our bitwarden which will be only available through this vpn so nobody else will have access only you and your clients so to install it you just click the button start and it is starting and it can take a couple minutes so let us just wait so after two minutes it should be done we just uh, refresh the page and uh, as you can see our bitwarden is running and you can open it and uh, what you will need to do is to create your account you will fill in the details and uh, once you have your account you can store your passwords there and uh, i think that's pretty it you can do whatever you want with the misborn uh, everything depends on your server if you have more ram like 8 or 16 gigabytes of ram you can definitely install more applications you can install your next cloud and those kind of things so to wrap these things up so to wrap things up uh, sorry if there was some uh, issue with the recording so i recorded again so in the first part uh, we deployed our misborn and uh, if you did not follow the first part please do it install your misborn and follow this uh, second part to configure your cloudflare dns over https then set up your uh, pihole blacklist and after that you can connect all of your devices uh, tvs laptops phones even iphones everything that you can install the wireguard and you will get dns level ad blocking with dns encryption from cloudflare that means you don't have to use any ad blocking add-ons to your browser or any other third-party vpn you have complete control of everything using free and open source software and uh, if you if you like using those free and open source projects i highly recommend to donate to those projects to keep them alive some uh, small amounts and yeah i think it is pretty straightforward it is not too hard to do it on your own but if you run into any issues or you would like to set up more advanced things and more applications feel free to contact me at vnstify.cc forward slash contact where you can fill the contact form and uh, yeah you can be in touch with me i hope you really like uh, this uh, misborn installation series and it is really great uh, tool for you to have because you can protect all of your family uh, family members you can set it up for your customers as a bonus it is up to you what you do with with this so as always uh, like uh, share this video with anyone who might think may need it and yeah if you run into any issues please leave comments down below and i will be happy to answer all the questions so as always stay tuned for the next video and uh, see you soon bye bye